Hi Internet! Um, I've received a package from IT Studio and I thought I'd share what's inside with you. Um, so let's dive in, see what we got. Um, I already opened it once, so there are a couple of modules inside. This, that. Let me get rid of this. And that's everything. So, what have you received? It's one of their new products that uh, they currently have a crowdfunding campaign running for, the Sum Off and a Slam Fur, and both of them are samples. So I don't know what the final product will be like, but this is what I got. So you can kind of take these apart. Seems a little bit flimsy, the plastic, but um, yeah, looks interesting. So I thought I'd try out and see what it does. What they should be doing is that you can control them over Wi-Fi. So they connect via Wi-Fi to your access point. Um, but they also have a 433 megahertz receiver. And this is a, a little remote for that. You can open it and then you have four little buttons and you can trigger something. Um, this is one for, an LA, for a light, uh, E24 socket. And this is another one um, and it has two inputs and two outputs. So you can screw something in, screw something on the other side. But I think both uh, are functionally identical. So I don't have any wires at the moment, so I'm going to put this aside. What I do have is a little lamp here, so let's plug it in and see what it does. First, take the old lamp out. This one goes in here. That's a good fit. And then you plug this one in there. From the instructions, you just have to turn the light on. So it's on, and you can see inside there are a couple of holes, and there is a green LED starting to blink. So let's see what else we need. Um, apparently, it works with an app, it's a bit difficult to find the app on uh, the App Store. Uh, in the end, I did find it. It's called e -We Link. It looks very Chinese. Um, I wonder if you've installed it. It comes from CoolKit. I have no idea what CoolKit is. Something Chinese. So it's something we can look into further. But first, let's see if we can get this one running. My video setup is a bit uh, limited. So, let's see if we can do this. So this is the EWE Link app and I've just installed it. It's the first time I'm using it. So if you open it, it looks very Chinese indeed. So we have to enter our phone number and a password. But first we should register. I don't have an account. So let me do that for a second. I just registered. Um, I got a text message. And I had to enter a little pin code, nothing too strange compared to other apps. Just the only stupid thing is it should have like automatically taken the pin code and put it in the app. So I had to do it manually. And now I'm registered and I can log in. Um, I didn't get much more information on how to use this. So let's say we just press the giant plus button. You need to press start button of your device to make sure it blinks fast first and search from below. So I guess we have to push the start button. Let's see if that does something. There is a little button inside. Um, and if I press it. Loop. That turns it on. That turns it off. Let's see what happens if I long press. It's 
Still long pressing. Oh, it started blinking. So I guess five seconds should do it. Now, start searching. I guess it's using Wi-Fi to search for devices nearby. Hmm. Devices to be configured. Select an SSID. Okay. So it seems that it's doing this quite rather quickly. Um, so it found the network that I'm currently on. And I have to give it a password. So let me get back to you because otherwise everybody can come log in here. And the password, and I think it connected. My phone reconnected to my home network. And now this is, I have to give it a name. So my device. Um, whatever. Registered successfully. And now it's in here. So yeah, let's see what it does. Um, it's off at the moment, I guess, if I press the giant button. Ah, and it turns on. And it actually works pretty fast. If there's data is going all the way to China. Should do some logging in there too. Um, this looks like a pretty social app. Um, I don't know, share. Who would I share it with? <laughs> you can share it with another phone number. So I guess the phone number is the unique identifier for an account. So you can share it to someone else and then the other person can control it too. Okay, nifty. There is also a timer functionality. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it does. Single timing, timer at what? Let's say 05. Yes. Complete. Ah. That's pretty good. So it went to 05 and it turned on. I don't know if I can still edit. Ah, yes, I can edit it. So let's say at 06, we turn it off again, complete, let's see if it works. There is one timer, so that's looking good. Um, and then some settings, dev die vc name, so couple of typos, but this one we can modify. and. You've just seen my Wi-Fi password, but that you can't modify. So that's a bit stupid. What should I do if I can't connect anymore? No idea actually. So what if my Wi-Fi access point changes? Uh, or I change the password? What should I do with the lamp? In the meantime, I turn the light off, like physically, no more power, not even to the Wi-Fi device. And then it shows this little question mark icon. You can also see in the back everything is off so device is not online so it doesn't know the state. Um, and if we turn it on again let's see what happens if it actually shows up if it auto refreshes I have no idea. Still showing like offline no update and actually, oh, no, not online. And the LED is flashing. No, now it's connected, I think. And here it also shows us online. So it was, if it's continuously on, then I guess it's connected. So, yay, I can turn it on again. And apparently my previous timers are gone. But... I guess the timer functionality works. So, information, device information. Ah, so I guess these devices can get firmware updates from the internet straight downloaded into them, which is nice. I wonder if they auto update or if you get information about it. So, Ooh. Socket, timer, so I have different, different devices, ok, 
can make groups, exit account, user center, that's not very interesting. So I guess that's it. So I can I can like turn it on and off for now. Which is fun. Um, and I'm guessing the other one will do something similar. One more thing that I haven't tested is the, the little remote control. I guess we somehow have to pair it. They say something about it's coded with it. Um, no idea how yet. So let me check on the website first to see how to do that and then we'll go to that next. Oh, that was a little failure. I have absolutely no idea how to connect this little fob to that light. But at least one thing, I can turn it off and on. Yeah, it's still working. Um, I'm going to try to find out how this should be paired. I have absolutely no idea. I tried every possible combination. Um, and yeah, I think this will be exactly the same story. Um, we'll get a deeper look at it later. It seems like really easy to disassemble. So we'll do that next time. Um, one thing that I noticed on the website is the pricing of these modules for, I think, a combination of these two. They asked $5 for uh, the early backers of the, the campaign, the crowdfunding campaign and seven dollars for for a main thing and you Absolutely crazy how they can make this for seven dollars So there's manual labor involved you have to squeeze stuff together put components in there Maybe even screw something together and all of that for seven dollars Including this but okay so we'll have a look at that in the next episode and thanks for watching.